they are shouting, P2B did not build school. P2B did not build any school. Anambara State has won national competition, beating River State and throwing Lagos State away just to shut their smelling mouth up. When God is ready for you, brothers, sisters, when God is ready for you, hey, your enemies will be asking, now juju be this. I come with good news happening in Anambra State. Anambra is making us proud, and I'm happy to share this good news with you. Anambra Kwenu, Anambra Kwezonu, I'm happy. They will not see this one. No, they will not see this one because it is not bad news. No, how can they see it? Children of Lucifer, they will not see this, this good news. This is good news and it is worth celebrating. And I am happy to celebrate with Ndianambara. Thank you for putting Ndibo in the world map. Thank you for this wonderful news that you are bringing. When God is not ready to bring a man down, no matter how you try to push lies, no matter how you try to paint lies, no matter how you try to sugarcoat lies, what God did not say will not happen to somebody will never happen. They don't joke with bad news. They don't joke with bad news, but this one on your hand, there is nothing they can do about this particular one. Because who God has placed on high, no man born of a woman can bring that person down. Bad news peddlers. All they do is to push evil. How can they like good news when they are children of Lucifer? Give me reasons why the born through ways will hear good news and like it and even share it when it does not favor them. So this good news is from Anambara State. Anambara, congratulations. Um, our daughters are actually making us proud at the national level. They don't rig this one. You know, it's not everything they rig. This one, there is nothing like rigging. Anambara is making the world proud. Not just in the world, the world. You don't know. Hey, I wish I'm from Anambra. I am not from Anambra, but I wish I... Anyway, we are all the same people, so I am from Anambra, yes. Let us read it. St. John Vianney Science College, Ibari, I'm Anambra State on Wednesday, claimed the National Girls in ICT Competition 2024. Are you hearing it? Using their visual reality project to conquer the National Championship title. Anambra State is one of the places you can find great people. When it comes to education, you can count Anambra to give you quality education. When it comes to business acumen, people that understand business, you can still find it in Anambra State, just like every other state in the southeastern part of Nigeria. So at this point, we have to say thank you to P2B for prioritizing education in Anambra State and also revamping the educational sector. Without the help of P2B, I don't think we'll be hearing or seeing this type of news. These are intelligent girls, lovely girls, that won a national award and they deserve a standing ovation. These girls are supposed to be celebrated and given standing ovation. Not every day rubbish, one nonsense will be trending. ICT, they won the competition. They bench Lagos, bench River State to win it nationally and they are going to win globally because who is smart is smart if you know they know they if you day day for this one is day this is newsworthy supposed to train talk about it celebrate the girls not every day one thing something that is irrelevant will be trending and being celebrated all over once again peter gregory obi mr peter obi thank you for personalizing education and taking it as one of your pet projects. We appreciate you and we like your style. He took education from nothing to something. This is the results. Without the help of this man, they are drawing left, right and center. We will not be hearing this news. Thank you, sir. Thank you. P2B invested in education while his counterparts we are busy grooming Aburo in Lagos, Pals, Nuisance, ballot box snatchers in Lagos. P2B was buying 30,000 HP laptops and distributing to all the schools. Buying buses, he prioritized education. When we say he revamped education, 
He personalized education. It was his pet project. Education was his pet project. That is why you and I are seeing these beautiful results. And this is what the camp of the Abadorians don't want to see. If they have their way, they will strangle this man, the culprit will be, if they have their way, but they can't. These people are pure witches. Pitobi is the highest, the biggest politician in Nigeria. Anywhere you mention Pitobi, it is like a tsunami, like a hurricane. This is what Tinubu will never attain in a in hundred, even if he will have to live hundred years again in this life. Pito, um, Tinubu can never make a name. Pitobi is making, not just in Nigeria, in the whole of Africa, and they are not happy about it. Now, why they are pushing? A false peddling lies. P2B states Anambara is still making name. So because it is newsworthy, they don't want to push it and it, the news cannot trend. Look at these intelligent girls. The other one did not invest in education. His colleagues don't know what education is all about. Some of them finished as governor. All they were doing is making mouth nothing to show for what they did is if peter was not a good market nobody would want to be throwing tantrums on him all the time you can only throw stones to a ripe fruit you can't carry stone and be throwing on a uh, ripe mango you only throw stones to the one that is ripe all the other people that contested this election and you see that nobody is bothered about them why are they emphasizing on peter b meaning that peter b actually won the election who won 2023 general election? P2B. If they are not afraid of P2B, they should conduct free and fair election without Wuruwuru and let's see again. P2B actually won the 2023 general election. P2B is the biggest politician in Nigeria, if not in the whole Africa. And they are scared of this. Now, P2B, um, uh, P2B state still won the national girls competition in ICT 2024. All these things is just like a nightmare. They can't believe it. All this news is not giving them joy. They are not happy about it. So why we are celebrating Anambra win? There are some people that don't believe it. This cannot happen in Anambra State. Haba, not when we say that uh, a bit of it did not build any school in Anambra. How can Anambra win this competition? Anambra can win this competition. That is why you are saying their tweet like this. Anambra state schools or private schools, please. Someone confirm for me. This is not possible. What could you over? The heat is over. Is it Anambra state? Is it, in, is it inside Anambra? This other one said Anambra state schools or private schools. Ha. Please, somebody confirm for me. Is it private school or public school? I hope Peter B. Hand is not in it. She is not one of the schools they say Peter B. gave a uh, HP laptop. Please, try and confirm. Try and confirm. Please, my BP is going high. Try and confirm. Check for me. That is that is how witches behave. You know, when you people go to church to pray against witches, who are the witches? These are the witches. There is no witch anywhere. That is why the Bible says, so far not the witch to live. There is no witch. Why people are celebrating good news? Some tout. I said what they grew in, what they train in Lagos is Agbura and tout. So they tout, Acha Patagoha. Umuokoko, Acha Patagoha to ask question. How is, uh, why is it, why will it be now? Why can Anambara win now? If Anambara won it, there is nothing you can do about it. There is no witch anywhere. The witches you should be praying against are this type of people. They are the real witch. They are questioning the credibility of Anambara winning. That is why I say this one is not rigging. Yakubu, the hand of Yakubu Momod is not in this one. You cannot read it because it is happening uh, open. It's in open. This one is not after voting. People will go and sleep and you will go there and start changing numbers. This one is happening. Everybody is seeing it. You can't rig it. If you try to rig it, right there and direct. You know, Nigerian politicians, what they need is what they need is jungle justice. You bring them out and beat them in public. So they couldn't have rigged this one. So these children of perdition, these witches and wizards, they are asking, please confirm this winning. Is it in Anambara? Is it real? They don't believe it. And this is how God will continue disappointing them. You can't cover sun. You can't cover a star. You can't block a moon. No matter how you try, you can't cover it. 
Did Peter B invest in education? He did. And that is why you are seeing all these results. Peter B took education very personal. If they are not telling you this, they are not telling you any truth. Peter B bought all uh, 30,000 HP laptops. He distributed it because he know how important ICT is in this present dispensation. He did it. What, is, what was his colleague doing? They were grooming Agro. Cows. While Peter B was sharing laptops, his colleague was sharing granite oil and three cups of rice with one cube of maggi. You know? So, Peter B will be their mates. He will never be their mates. That is what I have come to tell them. He will not be their mates. You know, like, the insatiable lifestyle they live, Peter B is not that type of person. When you see him, he looks very simple. His personality is very simple. And you know, when you see somebody that is not interested in taking money that doesn't belong to him, other people around might not be happy. Like, ah, if you know they steal, I won't take chop. So they don't like it. You know, saying, I chop, may I chop government. You know, your government is not going to chop alone. Thank you very much, Mr. Peter B. Why the world is shouting, crucify him, crucify him. Your handwork is showing. Your handwork is loud and is clear and we can see it. We know you mean well for these ungrateful people. But what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? Once again, thank you. And congratulations to Anambra State for winning the competition. Anambra Waka. Thank you for watching. When I was campaigning to be governor, as you know, and I'm sure you are aware, there was a term two years, for nearly two years, the schools were shut in Anambra State. And everybody listened to, even yesterday when we were Kaduna, a bishop said it, the Anambra school system went very low in rating. When I was campaigning to be governor, I said I'll change the educational system in Anambra State where schools and our children will never be closed. I'll make sure I give the best to education. When I was coming to Anambra to be governor, we have what we call male girl child issue, where most of the males were not in school. I said I'll reverse that. And I'll make sure that Anambra State becomes one of the best. And when I started, we were number 26, 27, Wayak and Neko. By the time I left, we were number one. 